Welcome back to the channel guys. So we got the seatbelts shipped off along with the SRS module to Safety Restore and they did a phenomenal job. Let me show you. Some of you may remember, first of all, the seatbelts were black originally. Well, we got red stitching on some black seatbelts for my dad. And in the originals, there was a bunch of tears, but these are brand spanking new with that beautiful red stitch. So Safety Restore did both the seatbelts with this red stitching. They also reset the SRS module. So now there's no faults with this. And last, but certainly not least, these seatbelts are dual stage. So there is a pretensioner in this. You can see the SRS connector, that green thing right on the side. This silver bar is another pretensioner. That purple connection down there is the second stage of the seatbelt when it deploys. So Safety Restore repaired both stages of the seatbelts and the SRS module. Along with that beautiful red stitch, and I have yet to surprise my dad with that stitch, but I think he's gonna love it. So with everything in a bag, we're gonna bring it out to the stinger, which is still not movable in the driveway. And here she is still in pieces. The cool thing about this is the keyless entry. The mirror will just automatically open. I don't have the keys in my hand. You can unlock it. And as you can still see, the interior is disassembled. Perfect for the new components we just got from Safety Restore. SRS module will go there. Seatbelts will go here and over there. So let's get to work. One seatbelt down guys, man, that looks fantastic. That red stitch just completely ties in with the rest of the red on the car. We did throw everything back together, but unfortunately I replaced this outside trim piece because it was cracked like you saw, but the metal piece behind actually broke when these deployed. That's how strong it locked the seatbelt. This does not stay in one place because that metal piece behind it is broken. The seatbelt is still functional, but that metal piece will need to be replaced. Now, as the sun is setting, let's put together the center console and the driver's side seatbelt.
So unfortunately you can kind of tell this on camera, but one of these is actually suede and the other one is the regular carpety material. This one broke on the roof airbag deployment. So I ordered a new one, but it's suede material and that's not gonna match up with the rest of the car being this material. So I just have to return that, order a different size. But now let's jump on that driver airbag. We got a new clock spring. Let's open it up, slap it in. So with the new clock spring, there's this really cool blue piece that keeps the clock spring directly in the center because these clock springs are only allowed a certain number of rotations to the left and right and you want to install it with the wheel straight and the clock spring in the very center. So this blue piece actually attaches in the center, making sure that this thing doesn't spin left or right when you're installing it. It simply just slides back in place for shipping so that it doesn't turn. So when you go to install it, you're not guessing, oh, is it too far to the left or is it too far to the right? It's perfectly in the center. Also, you don't wanna mess up the splines on the steering column with the steering wheel itself. So they do a little red dot right there and a little red dot right there. And I'm excited to get this steering wheel airbag back in place once we put the clock spring, the steering wheel, back on the steering shaft. Oh shoot, I just realized that the new clock spring does not come with this back piece that was originally on my clock spring, but it looks like it just slides in on those tabs. So I'm gonna try to disconnect this piece and hopefully it just pops right onto my clock spring. Let's try to pop this off and put it on my new clock spring. For an amazing deal, I got a seat airbag along with the top cushion. The ripped top cushion and the airbag were gonna cost me over a thousand dollars from OEM Kia, but check this out. I got the full top section of a GT2 Stinger seat with the heated and cooled seat along with the airbag and the gray plug right there, which is the exact same as my old seat top right here. And the nice part is I don't have to do any stitching and I have a brand new airbag. It was fairly simple to get out, just two bolts on each side and a bunch of connectors underneath. Let's slap the new one on my existing bottom half.
Well guys, the interior is complete. Other than some much needed cleanup. And last but not least, this little bracket that secures the seatbelt wherever you want it. So she does need a good clean, but that's for another day since we'll still be working on her. So we're gonna close her up for now and start working on the outside. So basically I'm having to disassemble the whole right side rear suspension because I'm gonna have to replace this shock, which I do have a new one, but I'm also gonna need to replace a lot more of these arms that I did not know about. Like this one is completely caved to the left, as you can see. And this bottom one is literally cracked in the middle and shredded at the one of the connecting places. I believe the drive shaft should be good because that's on ball bearings and they adjust. I'll need another sway bar link as well, but let's get the rest of this suspension off and hopefully we can pop this knuckle out. All right, so we got most of the suspension off. I'm shocked at how many control arms are back here. I still need to take off this control arm, this control arm, this control arm, and this control arm right here. And fun fact about these stingers, they have electronic suspension, which makes the ride quality like a Cadillac, but you can tell this one is bent off to the left. But we have another one of these for my dad, of course. Now, another thing I've never seen is this dongle or whatever that's in the hub. It actually cracked right at the base there, and I do believe there's a bolt holding it on on the inside, so I'm gonna have to take this hub apart. Might as well just get a new hub. It is electronic and it does plug into here, so I'm not sure what that is because I don't think that's the speed sensor because right here is the speed sensor. Now this car does have springs and coils, so does that make it a coil? spring coil over i don't know i don't know what that classifies it as my brother stinger which has the same suspension rides like a cadillac so i only ordered this control arm and the shock initially when i just inspected this but i'm gonna need way more parts well that is gonna be it for tonight guys i've got a lot of cleanup to do and parts to order so we'll catch you in the next one see ya